Let's talk about the power of personal branding strategies to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And personal branding is, believe it, although I am pretty quiet about it, one of my favorite strategies to help businesses grow and supersize, get the impact and the influence and the voice in the industry, their industry that they so desire. Personal branding is more than just uh, a fun to do or, oh, it would be neat if I had a personal brand out there. It's essential in the competitive world that we live in nowadays. The digital age influence and our personal brand and our personal influence and who we are has a huge impact on the rest of the world. That's why many of us have started our business or have our own business is so that we can make the world a better place, so that we can have an influence and an impact on the parts of the world that matter to us. So personal branding is a way to do that. There's a lot of business owners I talk to and work with that are actually afraid to put their voice, put their face, put their persona and their personality out there into their business. And for some reasons, if your business and your personality and your brand are all revolving around you, it's scary because that means it's pretty hard for you to ever separate yourself from the business. And most of us start our businesses so we can have more freedom and do more of what we want when we want. And that doesn't always happen. If our company and we are not separatable, if we haven't set up processes and systems in our company to automate things so we can take a vacation, so we can step away, that can be overwhelming and very stress invoking. Ask me how I know. Probably because early on in business and in life, I didn't do that. I was, my identity was the businesses I was creating, the, my corporate jobs, et cetera. And it wasn't until I had some life events that gave me a wake up call to say, mm, maybe that's not it. That's not who I am. And now I try very hard to stay behind the scenes with the businesses and the companies that I work with. I encourage them to create a personal brand for the reasons I'm going to talk about really, really quickly today. Number one, you want to have and craft a unique identity and personality by sharing your personality, your quirks, what's important to you, who you authentically and really truly are. In this day and age of automation and uh, digital technology and artificial intelligence, it's really getting easier, believe it or not, to separate the real authentic people from the artificially created personas. Uh, you know, we think about uh, brands and personas and identities that were created in the past. I think Betty Crocker is an incredible example of a company that created a brand and made up a person to exemplify and give them a lead and a uh, a character to rally around for their brand and for their products and services. You know, even, and cereal's pretty good about that too, right? Snap, crackle, and pop. Think Rice Krispies. There's back in the maybe back in the day and age of uh, television advertising when it was so big that is when I was growing up and it had a huge impact on my life but as far as the world is now with the digital age and everybody can find out information about anyone and anything I think it's imperative that we show up as who we really authentically are and we get to decide how much we're going to share or not share with people how much of our lives we're going to share or not share with people I share quite a bit of my life with people but that's my choice. That's who I am. A lot of people don't. Uh, a lot of people don't want to be the face of their business. My kids don't want to be on social media at all. And maybe that's part of because I am so on social media. Uh, but we want to use our presence online to build trust and credibility for our products and services for our brand, uh, for the brands that we represent, as well as for ourselves. We want to amplify our reach and our influence because influence is the currency of the digital age, right? How many followers you have, how many people you influence, how many people listen to you or take your advice on things, which I find pretty shallow. I like to think that everyone should just think for themselves and the world would be a better place. But uh, sometimes I feel like that doesn't happen. <clears throat> we want to have a personal brand because it creates opportunities for us. Again, I was saying earlier on, a lot of business owners are afraid to put themselves out there because they don't want rejection. They don't want to be ridiculed. I got to tell you, if you've got your own business, you've definitely become a master of dealing with rejection and not letting it scar you for life. You continue to move forward no matter what other people think or say about you. And the truth is, we're never going to be for everybody. We're only for 
the people that we're here to serve, the people that we're here for. And those people will be attracted to us. Other people won't even notice us or they will hate us. And that's okay too, because everybody isn't going to like us. Do you like everybody? I certainly don't like everybody. I try to be Christian and kind and, and open-minded, but some people just rub us the wrong way. And that's because they're different than us and they're not for us. And so we surround ourselves and we create what it is that we want to see and have more of in the world. Uh, <clears throat> so I guess the whole, and, and I'm not an expert in branding, right? Or personal branding, obviously, because I've made choices to not influence the people that I work with businesses by having my personal brand out there. And that's, again, a personal decision and choice. Uh, <clears throat> but we want to make sure that when it's time, and it's usually time in the beginning, to craft and create the, the identity and the persona for your business based on your core values, based on what's important to you and your business, so that you can attract the people that share those core values and choose problems you can solve and uh, create long-standing, lifelong customers and relationships with them. So love to know your take on personal branding. Do you build a personal brand? Do you allow people who work in your organization to have their own personal brands? I'm going to tell you, that's a secret weapon. If you've got you out there promoting your company and your brand, that's one thing. But if you have a hundred of you out there positively impacting and promoting and sharing their personal brands that lead back to and have the same core values of your brand, that's exponentially more powerful. All right. Love to know your take on this. Share in the comments below. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting business strategy you could explore to use to supersize your business right now. Have a great day.